Hi, I'm Nigel with another short video with tips and tricks for AudioSwift. AudioSwift for Mac OS lets you use a trackpad as a MIDI controller with simple touch gestures. I'm going to show you how to use a feature in Logic Pro called Automation Quick Access with AudioSwift in slider mode. This feature allows the user to map a single controller, in this case, a virtual slider in AudioSwift, and control any selected automation parameter in a track by just sliding a finger over a trackpad. Let's see how Automation Quick Access works. Select your track and hit the A key shortcut to show automation. Open the AudioSwift console and choose the slider mode. Select a bank where this slider controller will be. Choose a controller change number that is not used elsewhere. I chose number 14. Change the slider format to relative A because we want to use relative MIDI instead of absolute MIDI values. It's better for this situation and in a moment I'll show you why. Open Logic Pro Preferences window and click the Automation tab. Go to Automation Quick Access and click Learn Message. Logic Pro is now waiting for the controller MIDI data. Tap your trackpad with a four or five fingers tap to turn AudioSwift on. Start moving the slider over the trackpad in one direction and hit Escape. Click Done. The Automation Quick Access is turned on automatically. Before closing the window, go to the Edit button. It opens the Controller Assignments window with the parameter selected. Change the format to Sign Magnitude and the mode to Relative. Close this window and the Preferences window. Choose an automation mode on your trackpad. I chose Touch. Volume is the automation parameter selected. Hit play, tap your trackpad with a four or five fingers tap to turn AudioSwift on, and start moving the slider. Logic Pro will write the automation, and if I lift the finger, it will return to the previous value. I start moving the slider again, and it will pick up from there because we use relative A as our slider format. Hit escape and stop the playhead. Let's choose pan and now we have panning automation. You can also choose plugin parameters. In this case, we have a synth and we want to automate its uh, filter cutoff frequency. Hit play, turn AudioSwift on, and start controlling. This is the magic of automation quick access. One controller can be automatically mapped to different parameters with a click. Now some final tips. This method can be used for volume and panning automation as I show you. However, for that I would recommend using the mixer mode in AudioSwift instead. It has better failure resolution, better workflow, and it works great with the touch automation mode. The automation quick access with AudioSwift in slider mode is better for controlling plugin parameters. Check out our video tutorial on how to use AudioSwift in mixer mode with Logic Pro or read our user guide. Once AudioSwift is configured in mixer mode, you can also have transportation key shortcuts when AudioSwift is activated, like hitting the space bar for play, or you can change the automation mode of the track by hitting U for read, I for write, O for touch, and P for latch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions with AudioSwift, let me know through the comment sections below. Take care.